All right. And I will look briefly at the types of reactions. And I'm pretty sure you saw these in statics, but um, we will look at these briefly. So the types, and I'm looking just at simple idealized. Uh, and so, okay, backing up. When we look at reactions uh, or anything really in structures, we consider idealized cases. So we have our classic idealized reactions. Uh, or I should say supports. Reactions are supports. So our first type of support is going to be, uh, let's say, a roller support. And we're looking at just 2D supports here. A roller support is able to provide only one direction of translational force. And we usually draw it something like this. And let's say this is point A on a beam. And we would have at that point a reaction force AY, A sub Y, for instance. A, that represents a uh, vertical force at that, on that roller. And some other, there's many ways you can draw these. You, you also might draw them like something like that, showing a roller on a surface. If you do show a surface, then um, that reaction force is going to be uh, perpendicular to the surface. But the key is that it is acting, um, it's acting in one direction. And you, uh, this particular uh, support is only, uh, this particular support, this particular type of reaction is only capable of resisting uh, force in one axis. And they don't necessarily have to be, uh, that's, that force doesn't necessarily have to be vertical. You can also have rollers acting on uh, in the horizontal direction. The key is not the direction. The key is the amount of forces at that reaction. So I could model a horizontal one like this, where we have like, instead of a floor, we have a wall. And so maybe instead of, maybe this would be like an AY force. Maybe this would be like a BX force, a BX reaction force. So that's our first type of support, our first type of reaction. Then we have a pin support. And a pin support is capable of providing not one, but two directions of translational um, resistance. And it's usually drawn as a little uh, pyramid, something like this, maybe something like this, sometimes a surface shown. And the key is that it can resist motion in two directions, two translational directions. So we would have both an AX and an AY. Maybe a BX and a BY. So we have our pin support and our roller support. And um, now notice though, both neither of these redu neither of these are able to resist rotation. They can resist translation, you know, mo motion left to right, up and down, but they cannot resist rotation. And for that, you need your uh, fixed support. Uh, fixed support. And we usually just draw these as a line going into a surface, like, and it can be vertical or horizontal, something like this. And a fixed support is capable of resisting um, force not only in the x direction, like AX, and translational force in the y direction, AY, but it is also capable of generating a resisting moment, and I would probably label that one MA. And so, again, uh, this particular uh, restraint, this particular uh, uh, support, will be able, will be capable, uh, if, this if this beam tries to move to the right, uh, it will be resisted by translational force AX. If it tries to move upward, it will be resisted by translational reaction AY. And if it tries to rotate, it will be resisted by the restraining moment MA. So these are the three basic types of support. Make sure you're aware of them. We have roller supports, pin supports, and fixed supports. Uh, we can talk, we'll talk more about what the implications for these are in terms of um, 
in terms of stability and determinacy later in the course, but right now I just wanted to introduce them for today. Okay, uh, and again, hopefully this is a review from previous material uh, in various statics and mechanics coursework. Okay, any questions before we conclude? All right, so I think that'll do it for today. Uh, I hope you all found this a little bit uh, enjoying or enlightening. I will see you all again soon. And as always, thank you.